Today's video we are going to create this awesome text or title slice effect. Now let's see how to create this effect. Import a background image, then drag it over to the timeline. Then extend the duration around 8 seconds. Now duplicate the background layer, hold on Alt key, then drag it one track above. Next add some text, use the type tool. Create a text box, then write a title. I'm using the font, here just now. Now click on move tool. Then resize the text box perfectly. Let's enter the title, by using this button, in essential graphics panel. Now match the text layer with others, and extend the duration. Select the text layer, go to the effect controls panel inside opacity panel, select the pen tool. Then draw a mask over the text and it should something like this. Change the mask feather to zero. Now duplicate the text layer twice. Now temporary disable this two top layers. Select the bottom text layer, and move over the essential graphics panel. Change the text color blue, from the background image. Now enable the other text layers again. Now select the top layer, and set the mask panel to inverted. Again disable the top layer, and select the pan tool. Simply make two points, and make sure that, the line exactly with the mask. In the essential graphics panel, disable the fill, enable the stroke, and very thin, one pixel should be enough. Select the move tool, and extend the duration, and enable the text layer again. Now let's animate the line, go to the effects panel, search for linear wipe and drag it over the line layer. We'll make the animation start, around 2 seconds. Then inside the effects control panel, enable keyframe on transition completion. Move couple of frames back, and set transitions completion to 100%. Now we created this wipe animation. Now let's animate the bottom part of the text. We need to nest the text layer, now apply the transform effect in the effects panel. Now find the point, where the line appears. Move over the effect controls panel, enable keyframe for rotation and position. Then move couple of frames forward. Now change the rotation around minus 90 degree. And change the position out of frame. For more smooth, right-click these first keyframes, then select Ease Out. After that, open the Rotation and Position properties, then make the graph look like this. For more realistic, disable Use Composition Shutter Angle and set the Shutter Angle 360. As you can see there's a motion blur. Let's make the bottom part darker. Select the background layer, go to Lumetri tab, reduce the color saturation. Let's create another mask, select the background layer over the effect controls, select the pan tool, in the opacity panel. Then draw a mask exactly over the line. Now let's make fade in after the slice happen. Decrease the height of the layer. Now we can create the keyframe over the light line. Hold on control key, then right click on mouse. Then drag the first one down. And this will create nice fade in effect. Now let's add the sound effects. That was the final step of this tutorial. Let's a quick look at the results. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.